So you're interested in a ball launch monitor at home and you don't know if you have enough space or you don't really know what is needed to get this thing going. Well, let's talk about my setup. Hey everyone, it's Adam from GolfAndFilter.com. So recently I received the new SkyTrack Plus Ball Launch Monitor. It's a fantastic device that will allow you to not only improve your game uh, in those cold winter months like we experience here in the Chicagoland area and Midwest, but also it allows you to really fine tune certain aspects of your game thanks to a lot of the uh, game improvement packages and other premium add-ons that SkyTrack offers. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I use for my setup here at home. We're gonna go to my garage. Uh, you're gonna see some of the features that SkyTrack Plus offers and uh, hopefully it helps answer some of those questions as far as what you need to have in order to get started with a ball launch monitor set up at home. Okay, so like I said in the intro, here we are. Welcome to my garage here at Golf Unfiltered. It's not very flattering, but it looks like pretty much every garage uh, in the Midwest with short ceilings, and it doesn't mean that we can't still practice with the SkyTrack. You'll see that I have it set up here. Uh, pretty makeshift setup right now. Um, I've got this mat from Monster Mat, which is a great brand if you've not heard of them before. They are very, very durable. They feel a lot like grass. Of course, it's not exactly like grass because it's a driving range mat, but you get the idea. I've uh, got my SkyTrack that I've now partnered with uh, to bring you videos like this, as well as some uh, club data on the website moving forward. And then what you can't see over here is I've actually, and I'll move the camera a little bit, I've got a hitting net that I got actually just off of Amazon. It's called Go Sport. I think I picked it up for like $70 or $80. Compared to some of the other uh, options out there, including even from, from SkyTrack, which does make incredible uh, products, including a hitting net, this net is actually a huge, huge deal. It's a great deal, rather, that uh, you can just go ahead and, and uh, purchase and put inside any room, in this case, we've got a uh, garage ceiling that I believe uh, is just about eight feet from this point. The net itself is seven and a half feet. So that's actually another plus with this particular net. Um, other nets are a lot higher than that, so I went with this for that particular reason. So let me go ahead and I'll move the camera around a little bit here so we can take a look at what we've got going on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got a 7 iron that I am just going to test out the SkyTrack with. I've also got a camera down on an iPad that is going to give me the readout for each shot. I like to use golf balls like this that have kind of these markings all over the golf ball. One of the reasons being is that SkyTrack picks up spin rate, which is another great reason why you want to consider this ball launch monitor. Other launch monitors that are uh, admittedly much more affordable than a SkyTrack uh, they don't track spin rate at least as accurately as this does. And as SkyTrack suggests, you need markings on the ball that's going to help the Doppler radar pick up spin rate. So let's hit a few and see what, uh, see what we get. So right away, I don't know if you can see it here, but I've placed the golf ball on a red dot uh, laser that SkyTrack projects onto your hitting area. That's going to help it pick up everything in terms of shot data. So let's give it a go here. I have tested this before, so I know I have clearance above me. And that was pretty solid. One of the things that I have to work on is getting something soft for the golf ball to land on instead of my cement floor. Uh, but you'll see right away in the video that it did pick up that shot, 160 yard total uh, distance. And what I really like about SkyTrack is it, uh, SkyTrack Plus, that is. It's got all this new information down below. It's a feature that's offered and includes all of the optimal uh, launch angle, spin rate, um, as well as descent angle, and you want all green. That's what the big game is here for this particular feature on SkyTrack. All right, so let's give it another go here. Again, placing the ball right there on the laser. That one was a little thin. Make sure I keep track of where the golf ball went. And this one is going to give me a readout that I'm sure is going to be consistent with a thin shot. Actually pretty darn close to the first one, so uh, that's just a testament to how forgiving these golf clubs are, but also it tells me that my descent angle was not optimal. That makes sense because with a thinner shot, you're probably going to have a difference in spin rate. I believe this one's a little bit lower in spin rate than before, yet still within that optimal range. And uh, my descent angle 
was uh, penalized for that. All right, let's give another one here. That one was really solid. Let's see what the video says. I looks like I pulled it left. I guess it did feel that I pulled it a little bit left, which is typically my miss. And of course, whenever you're going to pull a golf shot, you're going to get more distance out of it. That's just the way that it works. And you'll see here that I got about six yards more total distance because of that factor. So I really like the SkyTrack Plus for a number of reasons, including the entire readout that you're seeing here on the screen, uh, but also just the real time uh, accuracy component of it. It tells me, it gives me feedback right away on this quality of every strike, including, as you can tell on the video here, there is that little section uh, that tells me uh, the club path where I made contact with the golf ball. That is something that is vitally important uh, for those of us, especially during the winter months here in the Midwest, where I'm not going to be able to play a lot of golf, or any golf for that matter. Uh, it helps keep me sharp throughout uh, those seasons where I can't get out of the golf course. Let's do one more. Let's see if we can uh, leave, on, leave on a good note. Ooh, I hit it really thin. And let's see how it picks up. Yeah, if it felt a little like a push to the right, that's where it's going. And yeah, distance is way down. I hit that terribly. You can see here, based on the readout, that it picked it up pretty accurately. And that's something that I would expect uh, in real life, so to speak, if I was on the golf course and I hit a shot like that. So SkyTrack Plus, you don't need a lot of uh, space uh, to uh, practice during the winter if you were wondering uh, how much space you needed. Granted, admittedly, I cannot hit a driver here. The ceiling is not high enough. Um, I don't feel confident enough, but I can hit up to about a five iron comfortably uh, here in my particular setup. So that's really all I need. You know, if I want to hit driver, I uh, have uh, the privilege of going to a nearby uh, driving range that also has Top Tracer, Cock Hill Golf and Country Club. You've heard me talk about them if you subscribe to this channel before. Uh, but if I just want to keep warm and if I want to work on uh, those scoring clubs, I've got the setup here. Well, there you have it. As you saw, I don't have a super complicated uh, setup at home. I don't have an in-house studio. I don't have nine-foot ceilings in my home either. I have a very old home. And so everything that I did was just right there in my garage. Now, this is really beneficial for me because I don't necessarily need to hit driver. I, I don't have the ability to there because the ceilings aren't high enough and I don't have the space. But if I could use those off months during the winter or fall or whatever, just to practice on my scoring game and my mid irons. Again, I could hit up to about a five iron uh, comfortably in that space that you saw. Uh, then that's pretty much good for me. So um, I encourage you to not just discount uh, the fact that maybe you don't have a huge amount of space in your living area. Uh, and so therefore you can't invest in a launch monitor, something like the sky track you really can it all just depends on what it is that you want to work on while understanding that hey those warmer months are going to come back you're going to be able to go out and really experience the full breadth of your golf bag you might just have to focus on a few things using one of those launch monitors in those off months so i hope this was helpful do me a favor go ahead and subscribe to the channel and uh, be sure to leave a comment below what is your in-house launch monitor setup look like, or if you're considering one, what questions do you have? Thanks for watching.